on ExtremeSFX.com, we are going to show you how to transform yourself or a friend into a skeletal gangster zombie. To do this, you will need a few things. Foam latex skinned prosthetic, alcohol, spirit gum, spirit gum remover, rubber mask grease makeup in Frankie Gray, black, white, corpse flesh, and clotted red. You will also need translucent powder and a variety of makeup tools like brushes, makeup sponges, stipple sponge, and Q-tips. Start with clean, unmoisturized skin. Any type of moisture or oil can cause the prosthetic to not stick as well. We use toner to cleanse the skin. There should be a nice, thin, ragged edge around the prosthetic. But if there is too much foam, you can remove the excess by pinching it off. Don't cut off the excess foam and be careful about taking too much off. Both of these can leave you with a hard, thick edge that will make it even more difficult to blend the prosthetic seamlessly into the skin. Before you apply the prosthetic, clean out any powder residue from the inside with alcohol. This will help the prosthetic to stick better. Check the fit of the prosthetic on the face and take note of where the edges of the prosthetic sit. You don't want the prosthetic to be too close to the eyes and you'll also need to know where to apply the spirit gum. You will be using spirit gum to glue the prosthetic onto the face. The most manageable way to work with the spirit gum is to glue small areas at a time, working from the center of the prosthetic outward. We began by brushing spirit gum onto the nose, inner eye area, and above the lips with a flat square brush. Do not apply the spirit gum too close to the eyes or in the eyebrows. Tap the spirit gum on the face with your finger till it is tacky. This is what activates the adhesive. Lay the prosthetic onto the face, making sure you have the nose lined up correctly and press firmly. Continue the process of applying spirit gum to small areas at a time, tapping till tacky and pressing the prosthetic firmly onto the adhesive. Apply spirit gum to any loose edges of the prosthetic. Use a brush handle or your fingers to press the prosthetic onto the face repeatedly till the spirit gum becomes tacky and the edges lie flat. Using translucent powder, powder the edges of the prosthetic and any area that any spirit gum is showing. This will make the exposed spirit gum not sticky. Brush off any excess powder. For the zombie makeup, you will be using rubber mask grease makeup in Frankie Gray, black, white, corpse flesh, and clotted red. To begin the makeup, apply black rubber mask grease makeup to all the deepest areas of the prosthetic. Follow the contours of the prosthetic and extend the design off of the prosthetic and onto the face. Also use the black to hollow out the eyes, temples, and cheekbones. Once you have the darkest areas defined, apply Frankie Gray to the full prosthetic, face, eyes, ears, and neck, avoiding the areas where there is black. Carefully, start blending the edges of the two colors together, continuing to define the face and prosthetic, giving it a hollow and gaunt look. Add more detail with black as you go along, creating more depth where needed. Shadow under the jawline and down onto the neck to give your zombie a skeletal look. Continue to go back and forth between the two colors, adding more detail and depth.
Next, apply white to the teeth of the prosthetic. To add dimension and a bit of zombie grossness, we outline the prosthetic teeth with black and clotted red. To make your real lips appear to be the inside of the mouth, just color them with the black and they will seem to disappear. Don't forget to apply black to the insides of the prosthetic's nostrils and any exposed real nose that shows through the nostril holes of the prosthetic. To create even more dimension and to add a bit of texture, we used a stipple sponge with corpse flesh, black, white, and clotted red rubber mask grease makeup. Stipple the corpse flesh lightly onto the high areas of the prosthetic and face, and deepen the shadowed areas with the black. Go back and forth between the colors, overlapping the stippling to create a textured blend. Stipple the white lightly over all the highest points of the prosthetic and face to really give a contrasty skeletal look to the zombie makeup. Give the makeup a nice, even blend by lightly stippling Frankie Gray over all of the prosthetic and face. Now that you have a gaunt skeletal zombie look, add gory detail to the exposed flesh areas of the prosthetic by stippling clotted red onto that area. If you haven't already, finish filling in the eye area with black and gray. To set the makeup, pat translucent powder onto the face. You can use a powder brush like we did, or use a powder puff. Either works just as well. You can also use an eyeshadow brush to get powder into the small areas like around the eyes and nose. What is important is to start by pressing more powder than you think you will need onto the face. Then carefully brush away the excess. You don't want to smudge the makeup by brushing over it before it is set. for watching the Gangster Zombie Makeup Tutorial. You can purchase all of the products used in this video at ExtremeSFX.com. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like, share, comment, and check out ExtremeSFX.com to see more awesome characters.